Most of us uh, knows uh, the difference in taste uh, between uh, regular and gluten-free pasta. What we want uh, to understand better is what is the difference between these two pasta in the microstructural level. The idea is to try to obtain better final product uh, by looking into the very, very small uh, structure. When I talk about structure, we are talking about uh, uh, a billion parts of a meter, so you cannot really see even with a microscope, and this is why we need uh, uh, this large-scale facility, because allow us to look uh, at distances that are not accessible with any other technique than uh, scattering. In this picture, you can see the spaghetti in a cell that we used for the experiment. Here you can see the pasta sample in the neutron beam that we use to measure distances uh, that are a thousand or hundred times the radius of the atom. The data were telling us that when you have the normal pasta, uh, the starches that is what give us the texture to uh, the pasta were maintaining their structure better. In contrast, uh, when you use gluten-free pasta, you use uh, an artificial matrix to, however, keep the starches uh, well. Roughly speaking, it degrades easily uh, under wrong cooking condition. All of us know, if you have tried uh, to cook gluten-free pasta, as I was saying, that uh, sometimes the mouthfeel uh, is a bit less satisfying, uh, it's harder to cook properly. And so the idea is that uh, if we look into the internal structure of the gluten-free pasta while we are cooking, we can find what is different compared to the regular pasta, and then maybe come out with a new idea on how to substitute the gluten matrix with different artificial uh, matrix to obtain a result of the gluten-free pasta closer to the regular pasta. And so, I mean, yes, uh, improve uh, the experience of gluten uh, intolerant people when they are enjoying a uh, dish of spaghetti.